Here we have uh, another video from Mina Transmissions. Two locations, one in Willow Grove, one in Lansdale. We've reached online at meanandtransmissions.com. Transmission we're looking at today, uh, this is a 6T45. Uh, 6T45 is a six-speed front-wheel drive General Motors uh, transmission. Uh, this transmission is also, a, there's a 6T70, which is a higher capacity, slightly larger. can be used in front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive applications. The architecture of the units are the same. There are some slight design variations and component variations to give the 6T70 a uh, higher capacity than the uh, 6045 that we're looking at here. So upon disassembly, it was very evident we had some issues when we saw the amount of uh, metallic contamination in the unit. Uh, this vehicle had problems where the reverse was slipping in some of the forward gears as well. So <clears throat> these transmissions have a problem with wave plate failure in the 3.5 reverse drum. That wave plate failure uh, then machines the drum itself and that's probably one of the major contributors to the uh, contamination we have throughout the unit. Uh, also damage the sun shell here. Uh, also had, this is a, a snap ring, and that snap ring came out of the, uh, the snap ring land on the top side of this drum. So <clears throat> we have a variety of, uh, you know, a variety of component requirements uh, that are going to need to be replaced uh, to address this. Uh, here's the, the, We'll call this the Tecum unit. Uh, Tecum unit is basically the control system for the transmission. Transmission control module is actually inside the transmission itself. Uh, and then you can see that there's a series of solenoids here on the uh, the Tecum unit. Uh, also, we have a thermistor, which is a temperature-sensitive resistor to provide a uh, computer uh, a reference as to what the temperature is. Uh, shifts are going to change with temperature so it's an important uh, part of the calibration calculation of the shift timing uh, is to have the temperature because the fluids viscosity is going to be affected by temperature as well uh, here's the filter uh, you can see all the the metallic uh, contamination here so uh, <clears throat> the nice thing is when this uh, 35 reverse drum is replaced there is a design revision uh, it gives it uh, you know changes that wave plate design also changes the snap ring lane gives it a little bit more depth so the potential of the snap ring coming out here's a picture of the 35 uh, reverse housing uh, with the clutches uh, applied so uh, once we do these transmissions uh, they have the updated components installed and the reliability of the transmission is actually better than it was from General Motors. We did look and see and there was no open recalls on this particular one and it's uh, this one is uh, getting near the 100,000 mile mark. So uh, once this transmission is done, the updated components are installed, we'll be able to uh, you know, get them back on the road and uh, still save you know, a significant amount of money compared to what a remanufactured transmission would cost.